Big time problems with this year's pumpkin harvest. Instead of being a bumper crop, it's more like a bummer crop. <laughs> Yeah, Steph gave us a couple of these apples, and I don't think there's a chance they're going to be eaten tonight. <laughs> uh, Steph got down on the farm to check it out. Joining us live with more. Steph, it, this is an apple, isn't it? it those, is. those are apples, believe it or not. Not the best looking ones, unfortunately. I went to the Gorman Heritage Farm in Evendale. Now, the plenty of pumpkins in peril all over the tri-state. Hot weather, rapid ripening means a lot of spoiled vegetables and fruits and spoiled plants for festivals that rely on that bumper crop just in time for fall fun. Every plant has four needs. Sun, soil, water, and air. Everything you eat, everything you wear. But on farms this year, one critical element has been visibly absent, water. Volunteer Georgia Crowell takes matters into her own hands. I'm trying to come down every couple days because I'm trying to get the fall vegetables started. But when farmers really needed the rain, it was nowhere to be found. Very difficult. A lot of strange things are happening. The nuts are all ripening and falling to the ground. And um, lots of things are maturing earlier and uh, shutting down. Like this sad pumpkin that looks like someone deflated it. These are doing a lot better. These are Italian pumpkins. What the? <laughs> it's just a different variety. They're a little bit different in color. More decorative than eating. Hey, that's a nice a pumpkin. One of our volunteer gardeners has some pretty good pumpkins, not a whole lot of them because the soil here at Gorman Farm is not terribly conducive to growing good pumpkins. Last year, pumpkin retailers paid about 10 cents per pound per pumpkin, but this year they can expect to pay anywhere from 25 to 30 cents per pound per pumpkin. So if they're paying more, guess what? You will too. Pumpkins tend to grow early and stop growing and then they start to, to decompose early. So it's hard to keep them until um, till Halloween. Even on farms with rich soil, corn crops have gone bad. And hay. Plenty of sun-scorched apple trees. Bummer crops for sure. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, got some eggs. Even chickens are feeling the heat. Here's a green one, a white one, and a brown one. They tend to lay fewer eggs in extended hot weather. Sunflowers, though, doing surprisingly well. It's uh, maturing kind of early, earlier than we thought. And I realize, yes, roosters cannot lay eggs, but there wasn't a chicken <laughs> near me when roosters I was in that shot. I it's know. all right. Now, each of you have an apple in your hands. These are from the Gorman farm. Now, while a lack of water can be stressful on the trees, I'm told at the farm the heat helps to concentrate the sugars in the apples, which can make for a sweeter fruit. So maybe at least one benefit to all the heat. I would think that would make a uh, tougher tougher peel on the apple. I don't know yeah. about that. Still many area pumpkin farms have canceled festivals this year. Unlike Gorman's, they buy their pumpkins from OSU, so they're going to still have a great pumpkin festival coming up from places that got better rain. Well, I'd eat this apple, but I'm still full of Ocho Cinco's. <laughs> from yesterday, from yesterday. that cereal. <laughs> thank you, Steph. Steph, thank you very much. Yeah. That's a nice story. Uh, thank you. A Florence family <laughs> shows us why the Buddy Walk benefiting the Down Syndrome Association is so important. And after Steph's story, you might wonder how dry it's been. Well, May and June were 3.59 inches wetter than normal, but look at this. Since July 1st, 4.79 inches of rain drier than normal. It's dusty dry out there, so the question is when are we going to get some rain? I'll try to answer that when we come back.